Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I know it's kind of dreary out there this morning, but you know, think spring, be positive, and I have the perfect spring recipe. And what I love about it is a super quick fix. This is that time of year where um, there's so much going on. Actually, my son Riley's taking finals this week and all those end of the year sports things. So, you know, um, getting dinner on the table is a real challenge. This is the perfect recipe. It's a, a skillet recipe. I love skillet recipes because basically you can do the whole thing in one big skillet and that's less dishes to wash. And it, it's just super quick and simple. This is my Italian chicken and asparagus skillet. And the other thing I like about this recipe, lots of flavor, um, not only quick and easy, but it's actually pretty healthy and it tastes delicious. So I started out with a couple tablespoons of olive oil and about three to four boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I've just diced up in about one to two inch pieces. And the reason I do that is because it'll cook quicker that way. And it's all about quick in my, in my family these days. So I'm gonna season up the chicken breast with a little bit of salt and pepper and some Italian seasoning. This is just a blend. It's got oregano, basil, dried parsley. Season up that chicken real well. You could also use some of the marinated chicken breasts, uh, like the sun-dried tomato or the garlic and herb. That would be fabulous in here. You notice I've got a real big skillet because this recipe is kind of like a stir fry. So I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. And you know, when I think spring, I think asparagus. The asparagus is wonderful right now. It's popping up in a lot of people's gardens. So I've got about two cups of asparagus that I've just kind of snipped the ends off of it and cut it into about two inch pieces. And I just wanna get it moving around here. I don't wanna overcook my asparagus. You know, um, I think that that's what spoils it. I still want it to be kind of tender crisp, a little bit of a crunch. Now for some color and some great flavor, I've got just some cherry or great tomatoes, about a cup and a half. Doesn't that give it some great color? It's just so pretty. I'm gonna add to the skillet. A Little bit more oil, I can tell it needs it. And in goes some garlic. Smells amazing in here. I wish you could smell this. Just keep it moving. That's the key to this recipe. Keep it moving around. And the last thing I'm going to do is just hit this pan with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Just a tablespoon or two. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Oh, does that smell great. Wow. We're done. I like to serve this over a bed of hot pasta. If you're really keeping it healthy, you could go for some of the whole wheat pasta, which is absolutely delicious. Spaghetti, linguine, fettuccine, bow tie pasta. It's all good. Got that asparagus in there, the tomatoes and the chicken, nice and light, but full of flavor. This one is a winner. And it was that quick and easy, it really was. Maybe a little bit of cheese on top, just a little bit of shredded or grated Parmesan, and there you go. It's my Italian chicken and asparagus dinner skillet. Make this for dinner tonight. It is delicious. By the way, recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods. And you know me, I'm always cooking. Make sure and watch Living with Amy today. We are throwing a garden party, and you're invited. It's going to be a ton of fun. We've got some great recipes, like a delicious pasta salad, bow tie pasta salad, makes a big batch, everyone will love it, and some really fun dessert ideas for your garden party. And I'm even cooking on the weekends, make sure and watch Good Day Wisconsin Sunday. I'm going to show you how to make the classic brat tub. Pete and Rachel will be right back, stay with us.